Hey everybody, I'm Ben with FFP and today we're going to be showing you how to swap out your lights in your RV with LED lights right after this. So there's a few problems with the lights that come standard with most RVs and they are uh, regular, I, I don't know if they're incandescent or halogen or whatever they are bulbs, but they get really hot and they take a lot of power. So as you can see on this guy right here, the end of the bulb there is starting to burn and that's happening all over in the RV. That's definitely a no-go for us. That seems like a safety hazard and you know that it's getting way too hot so somebody could burn themselves on it. Uh, and also these things suck out a lot of energy. So when we're not plugged in to power, uh, there's a lot of extra energy savings that we can get by switching that to LED. We are switching these to a, it's kind of a generic brand LED uh, light that's really the same size and setup as this. We got this on Amazon, we will link it below. So if you guys wanna see where we got those, uh, check it out in the description under the video. All right, so let's get started. So, First of all, to get these things off, you're just gonna slide it out and pull it down a little bit. So it comes out pretty easily. Take the cover off there. And then you just have uh, four little screws holding this in on each side. So we're gonna take those out and then we're gonna take the wiring off and that's pretty much it. Like I said, these things do get really hot. These actually do get hot enough to heat the outside of this enough that it's burned the kid's hands before from them touching him. So this is a definite fire risk if these things are getting that hot. And our kids have access to these in their bunks. Sometimes they leave them on when they go to sleep. So, I mean, I, I can't even imagine, don't even want to talk about uh, the, the repercussions that these things could have uh, as far as fire, fire danger goes, but huge safety concern. So there's a ton of benefits for these, and these things are super cheap. Like I think I got uh, enough to do this whole trailer for under 100 bucks. So I mean, it, it is one of the most, the, one of the simplest and cheapest investments that you can do. That's going to not only uh, reduce your chance of a fire, uh, but it's also going to extend your battery life like crazy. Yeah, and these are just the standard lights. These aren't, uh, you know, ones that we switch out or anything. So these are the ones that came with the with the RV, and all of them have started burning like that. So, uh, but I have all the screws taken out, and I'm just gonna pull it down like this, and it has a bunch of wire sitting up in there. So you just gotta get the the wire nuts. Are this is a little bit hard to get out because they're kind of shoved through that tiny little hole. once you get those out. So these things are shoved up, up inside that little hole, so you just gotta pull those out, and then uh, you're just gonna have to clip these off with a wire cutter, uh, and then strip those and attach the new ones. So you can see that we've painted in here. Uh, obviously we didn't take the lights off when we painted, but these things are the same size. Hopefully they're exactly, or a little bit bigger, or else uh, we're gonna be doing a painting project pretty soon too. So before I cut these wires off, I need to actually turn the breaker off to shut off any kind of power supply to these wires so that I don't electrocute myself. So uh, more than just unplugging your trailer, you actually should have a master shut off switch that'll disconnect power from anything, from your batteries or from anything like that. So I'm gonna go hit that switch and it's gonna get a little bit dark in here. So every trailer is different, but my master power switch is under here in the front compartment. It's probably uh, fairly close to wherever your batteries are. I'm gonna just turn this switch right here to off, take that out, and now we are powerless. Okay, so now it is time to clip the wires in here. Oh! <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you should have seen Becca when I just did that. That was so mean. <laughs> gotcha. I thought it died inside. I literally okay. just shook. So, so help me remember the red striped ones go to black and the white goes to white. Easy enough, right? Okay, fairly simple. We're done with this guy. Uh, these are crimped on uh, wire, what do you call them, wire nuts. So there's a lot of wire nuts that are screwed on, but these are crimped on. So once they're on there, you can't get them off. So that's why I just cut the, uh, the wires that are coming from the supply and that'll just take all these with them and we can throw them away. Now, 
need to get a wire stripper. And I'm gonna strip these wires and then we will put the new guys on there. So we're just gonna strip these wires out so that we can connect them to the new light. And I desperately need a new wire stripper. This one is a hand-me-down from my late grandpa. But it does the trick. Now that we've got those ready to go, we're gonna get our new light out. And this one comes with wire nuts, screws to mount, and pre-stripped wires. Look at that. Make it a little bit easier. So we're just gonna take the little pre-stripped ends off of these wires. The wire nuts that come with these lights are actually too small to fit three wires into. So um, I have some wire nuts, but I would suggest maybe getting some uh, to have with you as supplements. This would probably work if it was just uh, one wire coming to one wire, but because we have uh, three together, these things are much too small. So we'll put everything that you need as far as tools, wire nuts, and all that stuff down in the description of the video, just in case there's anything that you don't have. It's just an easy two-day shipping away on Amazon. This is the original light, and this is the new light. You'll notice that the wires are a little bit different. Uh, there's, a, there's two blacks, and then there's a red and a white. So interestingly enough, this is actually opposite of what you would think it'd be. So I'm actually gonna connect this black wire to the same wires that this white one was on, and the red wire to the same wires that the black one was on. So uh, you'll, you'll have to, you might, it might be different in your rig, but that's just how it works out with this one. And that is a reason why you always wanna test your light before you actually get it completely back installed uh, to make sure that it works. So one of the easiest ways that I recommend testing these is if you have your, your wires together coming out as your supply, just touch your other two wires on there and then you can make sure that it works. Because if I originally thought it was gonna go like this, it doesn't work. So this tells me that this is the right way to do it. So now I'm gonna go turn off the power and we're gonna get these things hooked up to the new guy. So now we're just gonna make sure we get a wire nut on there really nice and tight. All right, so I'm just connecting all three of these wires and getting them all in the wire nut really nice and snug. Make sure you twist that wire nut until it's basically twisting all the wires together to make sure that it's not gonna come out. And I usually like to give them both a little tug to make sure that they're in there snug. Okay, so now I'm gonna go turn the power back on and just double check that these are all connected okay before I screw it back into the ceiling. All right, moment of truth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We're gonna, this is, the trailer is actually gonna be a lot brighter than it was before with all these lights in there. Okay, so we are looking good. I'm gonna turn those back off. Now I am going to just get this thing hung up there. So we're gonna carefully put the wires back through this hole. Uh, try not to jostle them around too much because you don't want the wires to fall out. You wanna keep that connection nice and secure. All right, just gonna double check again. Okay, we're looking good. Again, this is how you pop them off. They, they basically just slide. And I'm actually gonna reuse the screws that was on my original light because they're already white uh, on the top so you aren't gonna notice them quite as much. All right, try to feed as much of the wire up there as possible so you're not gonna pinch anything off once you get this thing on the ceiling. Looks like it covers the paint. I was, I gotta be honest, I was sweating a little bit. I wasn't sure if this thing was gonna cover up the paint or not, but it does. So the screw holes are actually in different places than the original one, which is probably a good thing because the material that they use in here is so flimsy that once you put a screw in and out of it, it's probably not gonna hold all that well anymore. This is all very flimsy material, so make sure, especially if you're using a screw gun, that you don't screw these things in too tight or you're gonna break the plastic molding or you're just gonna strip the screw out through the roof. Now let's, it doesn't ever hurt to check these things at basically every stage just to make sure that something didn't go wrong. Because I'd be lying if I didn't say that I've been in the situation before where you get it all put back together and then something doesn't work and you have to take it all apart. Okay, so I got one done. I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the lights in the trailer here. So remember, this is a how-to video. These are suggestions. If you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself, then please do hire a professional 
to make sure that everything is done exactly right. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, I am Ben with Family Fulfillment Project. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We do daily vlogs. We are in the RV community. We do family vlogs. We do all kinds of fun stuff. So stay along with us and we'll see you guys tomorrow.